Oh, God. That was instant. Oh, did we get them at the same time? Oh, oh so cool. Was... Oh, you see that? Yeah. That was so cool. Oh, you watched him eat it? Yeah. That was legit. The fish came up behind you. How's it going everybody and welcome back to TRF. This is the series that I'm going to be doing on the channel where I switch places with somebody of another YouTube sphere or sports sphere and uh, kind of bring them into my life and fishing and they take me into their life as well. And I'm here with five-time world champion, the highest paid man in all of disc golf history, Paul Macbeth. Welcome to the show. We are well, glad you're here. Thank now, you. What's your, what's your fishing experience? Uh, probably about five times. <laughs> five, five times? Five times, yeah, yeah. Any big ones? No, not at all. Well, you know what? We're hopefully going to change that today. Paul's a competitive guy. So the way this collaboration is going to go is that the number of fish I beat him by, of course, we're going to get him on a few, Yeah. But I'm not going to hold back. So the number of fish I beat him by is how many stroke advantage I have on him on the disc golf course on his channel, which the video will be dropping as well at uh, the same time this one does. And so don't let me beat you by too much. I don't want to. I want to catch some fish, probably double my number, my lifetime number. Okay, so good. That's the goal. That can happen. And uh, we'll see y'all when we catch the fish. I'm just gonna watch you catch one first. Oh, I. You have a bite? I did. I wasn't paying attention. I got one. See? That's bigger than any fish I've caught. Now Paul has to kiss it. No, no, no. <laughs> Let's give you a little, a little lesson in casting. All right. So you want this, this bale here up. So you had it down like this. Oh, okay. Up. You want about, I don't know, two and a half, two foot of line out. Okay. You're gonna grab it with your, your right trigger yep. finger, flip it over. This you're saying? Yeah. Yep. Flip it over and then just over. Okay, so you're going over. Yeah. All right, all right. I didn't want to. Perfect. And that was a little bit too high. You got to give it some more gusto. Yeah, I looked away for one second. You already caught one. <laughs> you have a bite? Oh, I think I do. Not anymore. I didn't give him the business, but he was still on there. No, he did not give him the business. That's what it was. What are you going to give him? The business. The business. There you go. The business. Well yeah. done. Got it. Oh. oh, I missed him though. You did not give him the business. I did not. You told me the whole time. I did not. That you, he, he, all right, all right. That you had the business ready. All right, now let's say you got a bite. This is the business right Yeah, he's business. Oh, you got more business than that. More business than that. Yes, there all you right, go. Right. That's the business. Okay. You want to set the hook so hard you rip their lips off. Oh, that's that's the saying. That's okay. the saying, yeah. Got him. Oh, Two to zero. <laughs> Take that, Paul. I feel like I could get like a... I can fall behind maybe seven and be okay, <laughs> but it's this pace set right now is not looking good. Can we hear a, uh, a southern plier from Paul? Pliers? Pli yeah, there you go. Pliers. I mean, I live what, in the south, technically. What so. do you, what do you, you don't live in the south. Virginia? Virginia? Baloney. It's considered the south. Yeah. Comment below, is Virginia the south? Oh my goodness. Mr. Hammes. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, well done. Oh wait, he was not near as big as he looked. Oh, that was instant. Oh, here we go, a little it? one. Stay oh, on there. One? Yes. Stay on there. Yes, Paul's got one. You gonna bring him in? That doesn't count. Oh, come on. <laughs> Dude, that thing was the size of my lure. Yes, it was. <laughs> you, you didn't reel fast enough when you got near the boat. You kind of let him flop. Yeah. And he got off. I was too interested in yours because mine was like the size of my your lure. But we're going by numbers here. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm now three down on the disc golf course to you. Yeah. Okay, so you better be catching up here. So let it sink. Got him? Yes! You got it, Paul! Atta boy! Look at you! Now you're gonna get him in the boat this time? I'll, I'll lip him. That is a I'm nice one, my I'm friend. Under, under the boat. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Yes, sir! Look at you. On the board. Give me some of that. I'm on the Paul's board. Paul's got a fish right there. Now we're gonna teach you how to how to properly hold the fish. Okay. So I got the hook off for you. You're welcome. Thanks. Stick your thumb in that fleshy part right there. Okay. And but sideways, not like this. And then you're gonna kinda put all your rest of your fingers underneath here and hold them up like that. Alright. Got it like that. And then kind of tilt tilt your hand a little bit. Like that. Yes. Paul Macbeth, everybody. Bass catching. You got it. Extraordinaire. 
Let's go. Well done. Well done. Do I drop him back in the water? You can drop him back in the water. Do you take him? Peace. So now that Paul's caught one, all bets, just... all bets are off. So for my audience who does not disc golf, you're, you're, the, you're the world champion. You're, you're the best in the world. Mm -hmm. How long have you been playing disc golf for? Oh, 2004 okay. is when I started. So a bit. That's a long Quite time. Quite a while. Yeah. yeah. 14, 15 years. How, like how has disc golf progressed in that, in that period of time? Both technology and, you know... People, uh, people playing yeah technology a uh, lot of plastics new plastics for the discs uh -huh. and then um just higher speeds and then the courses have uh increased a significant amount as well yeah so it's been uh, cool to see during during the pandemic all the the, the growth of the sport and how yes many, how many courses are really out there yeah the pandemic has definitely helped the growth of disc golf you know it's, it's a sad reason why but totally, yeah but it's one of the few things you can go outside and do and and socially distance and and still be outside and get exactly. some exercise so yeah it's i mean the sport's at least doubled if not tripled fishing had the same thing happen to it is that it was one of those things that you could do you know by yourself or with somebody out and yep. out in nature yeah i mean i guess i'm a, i'm another number to that as well now yes you are <laughs> oh here we go new record oh paul's got oh, one. oh it came off oh Wait, no it's set, still set, there set the hook, set the hook. yes there we go well I, done <laughs> this is this paul's is, got one adam's got one this is one where i i was like i i think i have one but uh -huh. there's not yeah, put much that on the of log anything. Log, Adam. Yeah. all right now you want to get it off yourself okay grab How it you, grab it just like you have way. the same same way just like that. Oh, oh. well, he's look, gonna, look at you. You're going to kill a fish. He's going to take him, <laughs> take him. Do I just grab it? That's a big one, Paul. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah, for grabbing Paul's fish. Look, oh, thanks. look at her. There you go. You've been fishing? Yeah. <laughs> um, can I let it go? You can let it go. <laughs> so that's the, that's the one thing I don't like doing is grabbing a fish off the hook. Well, you know what? As you can clearly tell. But your wife had I will to do continue. it for you. She's she's she likes fishing. Okay. Well, we're glad she's here. I'm I'm proud of you. Thanks. And you almost did it. Oh, is it three to two? Yes. Oh shoot. Okay. I gotta try again. Oh no, you got one? Oh come on. This one's all you, buddy. Get up in here. Yes. It is three to three now. I am done helping you. you poke it back through the opposite way. It and it came out. All right. Beautiful fish, Paul. Well Thank done. You. You're killing it. Absolutely. You're actually you're killing it too well. Why can't I just get get it easy? Why can't I just have like a nice easy hook and just be like, yeah, all right, nailed it. Oh, heads up. Just kidding. It was grass. Don't worry. This is this is a small small guy. Oh, you got one? Yeah, really small. Oh my goodness. Like this is like a half point. Oh, or he just doesn't care to fight. You reel it up a little too high there. Huh? Oh, that's okay though. Look at you. Well, he cut me. He deserved it. <laughs> Paul, can you tell the folks at home how nice I am? He's extremely nice. <laughs> he is, actually. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. I gave that one the business. I gave him the finance and the marketing. See? I grab him. I get him off. And you have water. to look. And click. I just think I feel too bad for him. Maybe that's why I just got to care less. Yeah, you have, you have to care way less. Oh, yeah! That one... We got one. It's got to be a big one seeing the size of that lure, right? Yeah, it's bigger. That's for sure. And when they get to the top, you got to water ski them in. Just like that. <laughs> bada bing. Bada boom. That's a beautiful fish. I'll give this one a kiss. My wife loves it. You know, this might be a bad video that we're doing because now I'm probably going to have to buy a boat, buy some rods, just because Hannah's here. I should say my wife, Hannah. You you can pull a good size. Oh, did we get them at the same time? Good size boat behind your RV. Are we doubled up? Yeah. Uh oh. Mine's way smaller though. There we go. Look at this guy. Bring it in. Oh, I lost oh, it. Oh, I lost him. There we go. Six to four. That's twice I've lost like the smallest fish in the pond. Opposite. Exact opposite way. Did you just say it's six four? What? Did you say the score is six four now? Six to four. Yeah. No more dropping off these little fish. Oh. Oh, oh so cool. Was... Oh, you see that? Yeah. That was so cool. Oh. Did you watch him eat it? Yeah. That was legit. It the fish came... came up behind it and literally chomped on it from the tree. Look at that. Hooked him good. Seven to four. Let's go. That was impressive. Oh, got him again. Got him again. 
Eight to four. Oops. Uh oh. <laughs> it counts. Oh, what if you catch a turtle? Did you see that guy just coming after my bait? Now, when you started playing disc golf, yeah. making money, like as a career, was probably not an option. It wasn't. It was like one of those things where I was. I turned pro at 17. Okay. So it was like, oh, this is a sweet job. Like you pay an entry fee. You, Back then you would consider it almost like gambling. You'd pay your entry fee and then you'd go and play and hopefully you were good enough to win your money back. <laughs> uh, so that's how it was probably the first three or four years that I've played pro. Okay. And then after that, I was kind of, uh, I started, I, I was debating on do I continue with baseball? Do I play disc golf? And it was kind of just like baseball. I felt like I just had to keep spending money. Disc golf, I'd put money in and I'd get some out immediately. Got it. So I kind of made the choice and luckily once I stopped worrying about money, like making money at tournaments and just being like, I want to go out there and win, mm -hmm. was when it like kind of financially started paying off. But at the beginning it was, it was rough because, you know, top players were making 30, 40,000 on earnings, which- Oh, really? Yeah. You know, when you're a professional sport, that's not a lot. It's not a lot of money. Not a lot, <laughs> yeah. So now it's, it's gone up a little bit, but now most people are making their money off endorsements. Of course. Back then it wasn't. Yeah. So. Now, you, you don't have any endorsement deals at all worth any money. No, not really. <laughs> I'm probably going to have a fishing endorsement after this. Oh, maybe oh, not. You got uh, you got stuck there. There you go. Again. Well, Helped I still got out. the fish, though. You still got the fish? Yeah. Because I'm just I'm just that kind. Oh. Oh, we lost him. How many have you caught? Six. Six, okay, so a Six but could be nine. No, oh, there's no could have been nine. Shoulda, coulda. They were right here at the boat. All right. 13 to 6. Now the reason folks why I'm going so hard on Paul, even though he's not a fisherman, is because like I mentioned, his video, which will be dropping the same time mine does, uh, is a disc golf video on the course. And however many fish I beat him by is how many stroke advantage I have. So I need to keep going. So now we've caught a few fish. We're gonna enter the segment that's called What Lure Is This? And this is the segment where I take non-fishing people out on the water and ask them what the name of a specific lure is. Their best possible guess as to what the lure is. And uh, here's the last one I did of Nick Starkle, college quarterback. I feel like I shouldn't choose Whopper Plopper. Uh-huh. But I'm gonna choose Whopper Plopper. <laughs> That's it! <laughs> oh, yes. It's the Whopper oh, Plopper. Oh, I really thought you just made that up. Haven't been fishing very often. What do you think this lure is called here? I'll, I'll let you... Do I get a hint on like how many words it could be? It's two words. Two words? And uh, I'll give you a, a hint on what it does. So this here kind of goes through the water and makes a, I'm not gonna tell you the, the specific noise it makes because that would, that would alert you to the word. I have no clue what it's called, but I'm just gonna call it the clear belly because- uh, The clear belly. It's got, for, uh, it's got a funny name. It is a funny that. name. It rhymes. So we're gonna, okay. it rhymes. We're gonna go ant on the clear belly. So the, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you a hint here. Okay. The, the sound that it makes is a plop. So it's two words, it rhymes, it catches, a thing you can get at Burger King. Oh, a Whopper. I'm guessing. So, it is a... Oh, a Whopper Plopper. Yes! <laughs> Let's go. Give me some. Paul got it. Well, All thanks right. for watching. What lure is this? Got him. Watch the meat. Okay, I, I've gotten a couple of those. 14 to 6. Is it just... Got him. That, big... that was like... Oh, 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 gosh, dang it. No! Oh. Got him. Let's go. Let's go. You know what? Take me to the woods, Paul. <laughs> oh, that guy's been feeding up. He got a little belly on him. Thank you, buddy. 15 to 6. All right, so now you think you kind of got like a good lay of what, what's going on here? Mm hmm Can you run this? No. <laughs> no. People will be falling in the water. Well, let's give it a try. Oh, it's that way? Oh. All right. I'm done. So. I go right if I were you. So your toe, and then press button as you're doing it. Oh, look at that. I see. All right. See, now if you all buy a boat, Paul knows how to run it. Just plop. Oh, yeah! If you all are curious, the gear that I'm using will be linked down in the description as well as the gear Paul is using. Make sure you guys click through those links to uh, shop for your tackle. That'll help me out a ton. I gotta catch a fish right here. Because if, if I'm ever gonna catch up to Paul in terms of uh, the money I'm making in my sport, I need y'all's help. <laughs> <laughs> the Paul McBeth Foundation is, is well, with the sport exploding and, and with the growth we have right now, um, there's so many countries and so many areas that don't have disc golf yet. Yeah. So the biggest 
part of the Paul McBeth Foundation is getting disc golf in a lot of foreign countries, um, whether they just need resources, whether it's baskets, discs, help, whatever it is, and then also more towards the cities. We don't have many courses in the major cities in the U.S., so finding ways to get courses installed near cities where the dense population is. So that's that's awesome. That's what it is, yeah. And, Very uh, cool. Yeah. How many, do you have any courses planned right now? We do. We don't have them announced yet. I got to figure out travel if I can get there. Most I can say is uh, we'll be south of the border. Okay. So. Very cool. That's awesome, man. Yeah. I mean, I know, I know that I've been impacted by just playing disc golf for one year, just with like, it's so, it's so easy, accessible, and honestly inexpensive. I mean, discs are 20 bucks, but like, as long as you're not playing around water, you don't lose them. Exactly. And so to get other people, especially in impoverished communities and stuff into disc golf, that'd be, that'd be awesome. Exactly. So if y'all want to check out the, the Paul McBeth Foundation, is there a link that Paul I can McBeth leave? Foundation.org. Dot .org. I will leave a link down below for you guys to check out. Give money if that's what you're, uh, you're into. Yeah. Money or time. Money time, or time. Time's the biggest thing I think will be the biggest beneficial. Very cool for us that's awesome yep. oh man what 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 a yeah. cool guy y'all paul is just he's a nice guy he's a great guy terrible fisherman he, no he, yes <laughs> he's learning he's a learning guy and i'm excited to have him in my boat for today what a pleasure he he called me and he was like thank you for the opportunity and i said no paul thank you for the opportunity <laughs> i know it's so weird to have glasses on oh yeah if you if you want to take them off you can oh here oh we go. going yes i'll cheer for you because you, you've one. had oh that's it. <laughs> you blaming the sunglasses? <laughs> no. Paul angry. Has there been a, a day where you just didn't catch any fish? Oh yeah. Like, like last the... week. Really? <laughs> Two days in a row I zeroed. Oh. And this is Oh no. There we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Grande. See, so how do you get him? You just get him out of the water at the right point and he uh just yeah. floats? I know exactly. Well yeah, yeah, you, you ski him across the water yeah. like you're water skiing. Oh no, I'm in the tree. Oh, you got him, you got him, you got him. You got him. No. You got him. Yes! Let's go, Paul. Is that a big one? Here, just play him, play him, play him slow. Oh, dude, that's a, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Oh, let's go. How you feeling? How you feeling about your giant? <laughs> yeah, this is my biggest one yet. Oh, just uh, slower, slower, slower. He's gonna take you underneath. Mm -hmm. oh, you Good. said I take it underneath? No, he's, he said he's gonna take you underneath. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Uh, will Paul be the next Bassmaster Classic champion? Oh, we're just gonna get him up in here. Yes! Well done. Heck yeah, brother. Oh no. Oh, he's off. No! There. You are not leaving anywhere. <laughs> that right there is Paul's fish. Beautiful right. Texas largemouth. I'll give you his angle right there. Largemouth specimen. Oh, he's heavy. He's a heavy one. All right. What do you gotta say? Number seven. I think that's a good one to end on. I think that's a good one to end on. So we gotta, we gotta. 12 stroke lead going into the woods course at uh, Brazos Park East. But I want to thank Paul so much for coming. Did you have a good time? Yeah, I did. Had yeah, a great it was time. great. Of I, caught, I over doubled my fish count now. That's good. So I'm proud of you. Thank you. Well, heck yeah. Well, thanks, Paul, for coming out. Hopefully, uh, you guys see more of him and I playing disc golf and fishing together. And of course, the new video that's dropping on his channel of playing disc golf, me versus him. Me with a 12 shot lead will be on his channel right now up in the corner as well as in the description below. And we'll see you guys next time on TRF. Bye bye, fish. Eat it. I'm uh... <laughs> gonna pass on that one.